Hello and welcome back to Grim Survival. I'm in a shed. It's hot out here. So yeah, I hope you can hear me. My external microphone somewhere, somewhere. I'll find it another day. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've made a video. As I'm sure you've seen by the title, it's Food Shortage 2020. That's what we're going to talk about. And I'm just going to start the video by outright saying I told you so. Yeah, because I did. I did tell you so. If you remember, or if you've still been paying attention to me at all, <laughs> I don't know why, because I haven't been here. But yeah, if you have, about this time last year, I was telling you how the food shortages were going to happen about this time this year. Uh, you know, the, the meat, it's just, they stopped. We didn't get crops. We didn't get meat. Watch my other videos too, you know, explanations. So, um, yeah, we're, we're talking about a lot of food shortages. I'm seeing them all over the place, except, especially central Indiana, because that's where I'm at. But uh, we're seeing food shortages in Kroger. We're having meat limits. We've been having these problems, oh, I'd say, going on three months now. Um, fast foods, a lot of the fast foods are limiting their menus. They're limiting what you can get from them. A lot of chicken is obviously going way up in price. There's a lot of, you know, it's just harder to find meat. Uh, the other things that it's harder to find, corn obviously, soy, watch my videos from last year, you'll see why. This year, I'm going to tell you, I haven't been venturing out. I Luckily, I stopped driving to Chicago just before this whole virus thing, whatever. So, I haven't been going anywhere. I have been bug-in procedure, bug-in plans, staying here, not leaving. And it's worked out very well for me. I, I quite enjoyed it. I wish I could do it for the rest of my life. I don't like going out, but you know, it'll happen. It'll happen sooner or later. But that's not the point of the video. And I, I did make notes and I will get to the point of where I've been here by the end. So keep paying attention here. Rice, beans, a lot of grains, a lot of things you're seeing, you know, your normal staples are not in stores. It's really hard to find. Go to Costco, go to Kroger, Walmart, wherever. Uh, wherever you live in the country, I know you're seeing it. You're seeing some type of food shortage here and there. I know you're seeing it because it's everywhere. It's not localized. It's not limited to certain areas. So, I mean, if you don't go to fast foods, just go walk near one. Look at their menu. Just look at it. It's, yeah, it's there. And I always said back before that, you know, we won't, we don't have a problem as long as you can go through the drive through and get a burger. So right now you can still get that burger, but time's coming. Time's coming. All right. <laughs> yeah. So what is the cause? Watch my videos last year. It's not the coronavirus. Coronavirus did not kill the cows. Um, last time I checked, the cows and the chickens weren't affected by coronavirus. As a matter of fact, the people I've known that were affected by coronavirus that had been hospitalized said the flu symptoms are a lot worse than that. And yeah, we won't go into that conspiracy. You know, riots, protests, and everything that's been going on around the country, they're saying for police shootings and things like this. I'm not, I'm sure not all of it is for that. It's only going to get worse. It's going to get worse. Don't take my word for it. Just watch what's going on because some people got upset about a certain thing. What happens when these same people realize they don't have food? It's going to get worse. All right, so yeah, this is going to be a quick video. I have no intention on editing. I'm standing in a shed. That's a saw. That is, this is, I don't know if you can see it here. That is pieces of a drill press that I am currently going to have to put together. These are the instructions. Will I use them? Hard telling, probably not. But we're going to see. We might need to use the instructions. Um, yeah, where I've been is just bugging in. It's lack of motivation, really. I, I did not make this channel to be a newscaster. I didn't make this channel to make money. I just made it to show you what I was seeing last year. And what I was seeing was what has happened. We have food shortages. What I was seeing is crop failure. And this year, I have not seen a lot of it, but I haven't ventured out, like I said. In central Indiana, I can tell you from the east side to the west side, in central Indiana, the crops are looking fairly decent this year. Uh, corn, it's looking, uh, it's about average. I'm going to say about average. Soybeans is what I'm seeing the most of. The, most of the farm belt in this general area is all soybeans. It's all soybeans. I've seen corn crops sporadically, but not nearly what you would normally see for Indiana. So, yeah, obviously we've had a, a very wet spring. I did have some videos of it. I have not posted them. I just, like I said, lack of motivation. It's really hard to, you know... I, I watch the news every now and then, and I don't have any more to add to it other than those people are idiots and don't listen to most of what they said. But that's besides the point, and there's a wasp buzzing in the shed trying to get me. I'm going to have to throw my pen at him in a minute, or I don't know, maybe the tablet, maybe my hat. Something's getting thrown at him if he doesn't, yeah, he won't go away. 
So anyway, I will be back to making more videos. I do have trips planned to make my old route towards Chicago and, you know, a more personal vehicle and just get over into Illinois and see what their crops are looking like. Maybe get a little more north and see what the crops are looking like up there. I know down in South Central we've had, you know, fairly decent weather. Right now we're having heat waves. It is uh, record breaking, or I don't know if it's record, but there's heat advisories. I'm, I'm literally sweating and I'm just standing here. But yeah, I have a drill press to put together. Why am I putting it together? a drill press you might be wondering and I'm not gonna tell you but yeah I'll be back believe me I'm gonna make some more videos because I have more to show you and I'm sure you would like to see it so we'll get there sorry you know things happened life happened I did not get coronavirus that I know of although it's a possibility earlier in the year it might have been a flu who knows didn't kill me I'm still here hey it's still grim out there keep watching